Welcome ladies and gentlemen to this year's COVID safe virtual briefing of the SCF research and sustainability competition. Now we've put this briefing together uh, due to the restrictions that we have on the competition this year and the venue we're holding the competition at. It's super important that you guys familiarize yourselves with the briefing from start to finish, Dino section, Heathy section, super important, the competition rules and the venue rules just so we keep everything above board and we have a good weekend, flow's good. Now guys, just with the weather and safety for this weekend, um, the weather reports aren't looking great for the offshore categories, for the offshore guys. So we just do wanna make sure that if you are traveling offshore, you know, you guys, we do recommend checking in with the Coast Guard, making sure all your safety gear is up to date, EPIRBs, flares, all that sort of jazz, all up to par. Also, if you are heading offshore, make sure you're competent. If you're not sure, don't bother, stay inshore. There are heaps of inshore species, inshore options. There's some sheltered bays, etc., around the area within the fishing zone that you can hit. Um, if you do go offshore, make sure you guys know that it is at your own risk. So guys, we do understand that due to the weather conditions, not all the offshore species are gonna be caught or captured. Um, we've got a little bit of a contingency plan for that. We are gonna host some activities at the venue, at the waterfront, at the venue from 12 o'clock to two o'clock on Sunday the 13th. Um, all you guys are welcome to come down. Maybe you had, didn't have such a great weekend or you just wanna get off the water, come down and have some beers. We're gonna hold some activities. We're gonna do a bit of trivia. Now these activities are going to be hosted by some of our special guests, your Brooksies, your Arnolds, etc. So come down and give that a crack, it'll be a bit of fun. I think we're going to do a casting comp as well in the lake, it'll be a bit of fun. Now this part of the competition has been the most challenging to organise, um, just in terms of getting everyone in and out due to the restrictions again. Um, what we are going to do is have all sponsors and special guests able to be at the venue from start to finish. We will require juniors and their parents to come to the early briefing, which is from 4.30 p.m. to 5.30, in which time afterwards, the second briefing will continue for all other contestants to come in from 5.30 onwards. Now, once in the venue, there will be a separate entry point and exit point in which you will sign in and sign out, again, to comply with restrictions. And once in the venue, guys, we've been asked to let everyone know that you have to stay seated, so find yourselves a table or your area, stay seated, set yourselves up, you can get up and order food, you can get up and order drinks and go to the toilet. Other than that, we need you guys to stay seated. There will be people coming around just checking on that as well. So guys, for the presentation, this is the most crucial part of the weekend in terms of complying with restrictions. Now we do want everyone to be involved in the presentation. We want everyone to be there at once, so it's really important that you sort of follow these guidelines. Um, so everyone with that holds a ticket for the competition is allowed to be there on that day, 3 p.m. on the Sunday. Juniors without parents in the competition are allowed to bring a guardian or a parent with them, one plus a plus one, and it has to stay like that, unfortunately, guys. We know this isn't ideal. We know some of you like to come down and watch your kids get prizes, etc. but we kind of just have to keep it to those numbers so we can have everyone that's in the competition involved and everyone there at the same time. Now for the lucky draw prize this year, which is the $22,000 trailer and boat package from Sunshine Coast Yamaha, you do need to be at the venue to be in the draw to win this boat. You need to be at the venue whilst we're drawing the prize. You can't get your friends to collect it for you, you can't get your mum to ring up and say you're not there, blah, 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 no sick cards, whatever. Have to be there guys, okay? Cool. Hey guys, I'm gonna be chatting to you about our data collection methods and all the different categories we've got to um, help us collect the data, how they work, and basically what you've got to do to compete for the categories. Okay, first thing will be um, the fishing start times. So basically, from midnight after the briefing on Friday, you're allowed to start fishing, and you can fish non-stop up until midday on the Sunday. We have 15 inshore species, 15 offshore species, We've got five additional species, and one of them is our mystery fish, and this year it is the grunter. The coolest thing about this event is the live scoreboards and getting to see who's winning each species at each time. This is how our live scoreboards will be displayed this year. All the different target species, um, everything you need to know will be on there. So how it will work is the person who's winning each species, their total length of their two biggest fish will be shown, which will also be updated automatically, and their full name will be shown on the public scoreboards. 
Um, if you're not on the public school boards, we do have our members only uncut school boards, which all our members have access to basically every single bit of information that we collect throughout the, throughout the weekend. And that way you can use that information to yeah, um, target different types of species, um, change your game plan midway through the event and all sort of, sorts of things like that. Even, um, even work on how you're gonna win those champion angler awards. So yeah, that's super vital, is keeping it on our school boards and watching them over the weekend. So with, with the measuring techniques this year, um, all, your, all your fin fish, it'll just be an overall length um, on, your, on your mat of the fish placed um, nice and flat. We don't want to see guys like squishing the tails, increasing the length like that, none of that this year. With some of the other species, with our rays, we're actually going to measure them wing to wing. So put them on your mat, one wing will be at zero, wherever your other wing ends up, that'll be your length of your ray. Your sharks, that'll be an overall length. Um, if it's longer than your mat, feel free to use like a tape or whatever else you've got to get a pretty like good idea of what length it is. With your shovel nose rays, same thing. With squid, we're going to go from the base to the tip of the hood. We'll also have um, some, some diagrams of how we're going to do that on the website. With the lobsters, we're going to go from the end of the tail to the top of the carapace. We'll also have some um, diagrams on exactly how this is on our website for you to double check. And that's, that's pretty much it. So with the spearing and the diving categories, we're, we're, not a, we're not a full on spearing event or diving event or anything like that, but we want to include the guys. So what the rules are with that is, uh, you can free dive for as many crays as you want. You can release them, you can keep them, it's sort of all up to you. With the, with the spearing, we, we're only allowing the spears to shoot four fish over the weekend. So once you've shot your four fish and entered your two categories, um, we recommend you just like fish with your lines for the rest of the weekend and compete like everyone else and compete for the other categories. Our other categories this year are junior, the junior category, our most tag category, our female category, um, our most species category, and we've actually got a jet ski category this year. There's a couple of little different ways each of those categories work and all the, um, all the information is on the website, so just familiarise yourself with that. The Champion Angler Awards, they're bragging rights awards only. So it's, all, it's a big flex to get those awards. Um, all the details to how to, get, how to compete for these awards are on the website along with everything else. Also, if you've got any questions regarding anything that we've said, please just come and chat to me, Benny, Heathy, anyone else we've got down there helping. Um, guys have been there previous years, everyone sort of knows how it works. And yeah, we look forward to rolling that all out for you guys. All right, what's up guys? I'm just gonna be quickly running through a few more details that everyone's gonna need to know because it's gonna benefit everyone over the course of the weekend. First thing being the SCF Live page. So rather than updating all um, our updates to different socials as we did last year, we're gonna dedicate this page to all our regular updates over the course of the weekend. Uh, this will also include, include links to our live scoreboards as well as what Dino mentioned, our, member, our members only scoreboards. It'll also include a few surprises on there for everyone, um, including Dino and Benny's Catch and Cook series that they've been working on for the past few months. We'll also be including something that myself has been working on for about 18 months now that no one else except for me and Dino and a few others has seen, um, but only the members will be able to view this. So it's going to be an epic page and it'll be definitely worth checking out if you've got any spare time over the weekend. So the second thing I'm going to be touching on is the best action clip category. So the prize for this will be a brand new GoPro Hero 8 and um, this will be awarded to the competitor who submits the best action clip. Or it'll be a good times clip, a monster fish, you losing fish, banter in the boat, whatever it is, we want to see it all. So this will be judged by ourselves and um, these clips can be submitted in a few ways. One via the app, as long as it's filmed on your phone and is less than 30 seconds long. If it's not, if it's filmed on a good camera, GoPro, drone, whatever, come see myself on Sunday at the waterfront from 12 to 2 p.m. and I can down download all your clips then. So the next thing will be regarding the interviews. If you either end up winning one of the four champion anglers or one of the 30 species, uh, you'll be required to hang around after the presentations to get an interview with one of our special guests. This is just so we can thank sponsors and just quiz you on how you went about approaching the weekend and getting the win. Other than that, we're super excited for the weekend. We hope you are super excited and we can't wait to see you down there. Alrighty guys, thanks for sitting through that. Uh, we know it was probably long, probably a bit boring, but we had to get out of the way um, because it's going to benefit you guys in the end. I'm super excited. 
yeah, I can't wait to see all you guys over the weekend. Have a good one-on-one -on -one conversation and chat and say good day. And, and we hope you guys have a successful weekend on the water. Catch heaps of fish.